What is up guys, it is Ghostlane here coming at you with another Q&A. You guys seem to really like these because last time you got a lot of feedback from you guys, a lot of questions which I loved to to uh, to read through and it was, it was amazing. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support and yes, I do sound a little bit older than my age. Uh, I never actually realized how deep my voice was until I released that video and I got all the feedback. I was just like, wait, do I sound that old? Really? Like I have a really deep a <clears throat> muscular voice. Uh, I'm just joking. Alright, let's just move on to the first question. Um, Alright, the first question is Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> Alright, second question. I love the Q&A videos because it helps us know more about you. Here's my question. If you could bring uh, a champion to real life to be your friend, who would it be? I'd uh, probably Galio because Galio can, um, he can, um, wait, he could do, I don't even know what he could do, actually. Alright, but all jokes aside, Broloff would probably be the champion that I would bring back to real life, just because he seems he seems like a really cool guy to hang out with, you know, uh, chilling, you know, watching some League of Legends. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. Uh, I've been trying to find a main for all, and I enjoyed Wukong, Vayne, and Yasuo a lot. Any champions? Uh, any ideas on a champ that is similar to one of them uh, that I could try? Um, ch your best bet. Is uh, similar champions are Darius, Nar, and Callista. Dar, I mean, <laughs> Dar, uh, take <dang>, Frank. <laughs> uh, Nar, because he could build tanky and he could do a lot of damage without tank items. So, yeah, you could basically go full full tank with him and he could carry really hard because uh, his team fighting potential is just crazy. Uh, Callista, because she's really mobile like Vayne. Uh, and uh, Darius, because, well, he's Darius. I think we all, I think we all know what he does. Uh, all right. Um, hold on, let me just check something real quick. Okay, uh, next question. How many champions do you have and how much money have you spend, spent on LOL? Uh, I've spent about 70 to to $100 on League for about, in about two years. So, I've been playing LOL for two years and for the, like the first year ever, I didn't spend any money on it. Uh, I was just like, a free game? Why would I spend money on this? And then like, you get into the skins and everything, you're like, oh, shit. I need. I definitely need to get the skin. I need to get this champion. I need to get whatever. And I think like, I think like, thirty of those champions. I mean, thirty of those. Uh, thirty of those dollars were towards champions that I really liked that I I couldn't wait to play. Like Renekton. Uh, I I believe I bought Kha'Zix as well, with a with a couple of uh, a couple of that money or a couple of those dollars. A couple of that money. What the heck is this grammar? Uh, and I have six, well, I mean, I have 116 champions. Sorry, I'm stuttering, guys. I'm really, really tired right now. Uh, but, yeah, that's why I couldn't make a video. I was too tired. I was too tired to record a video. So, this is my video for tonight. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I have 116 champions. Yes, I did count. Uh, I don't have Galio. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, next question. I really like the series. Can you say something about Lissandra? Now, I'm glad you're enjoying the Bronze Diamond series. Uh... I'm getting really tired of playing in low elo. I'm just, I'm just like, ugh. And I'm releasing every single play, like video. I mean, every single game I play on the account. So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of stressful. But yeah, uh, I've actually lost a couple games now on it just because of AFKs. Actually, I had this one game where I had two AFKs and I almost won, but I wasn't, I wasn't good enough. So yeah. All right, for Lissandra, I would have to say she's really, really, really strong. Uh, but she's super underrated. Like, nobody plays her. Her CC and damage, like, combination is really good for carrying games. I thought she was the most broken champion ever. I'm like, why, why don't people play this champion? What the heck? Her ultimate can stun them. Or, uh, well, yeah, stun them. Uh, or, yeah, whatever her ultimate. I mean, it does stun them, but I think there's another term for it. Like, it, it freezes them, but, like, I know it, technically it's stun. You know, all right, moving on. Uh, her CC and damage is great for carry games, and, like, pl plus she's really, really cool. Get it? Because she's made of ice. <laughs> why, aren't you, why aren't you laughing? Laugh now. <laughs> Alright, what is your favorite champion to play just for fun? Now, I like I like to play Yasuo and Lee Sin just for fun, even though I'm terrible with Yasuo, and I'm not that good at Lee Sin. I mean, I'm okay at Lee Sin. Uh, I'm no, like, insect or anything. Um, but yeah, alright. So I'm thinking about picking Morgana as one of my champions to stick with. And I'm really good with her Q and my win rate is high with her. What do you think about my decision and what factors do I apply to make this uh, decision? Well, I think that you should go for it, man. I think, like, 
if you win games with Morgana and you enjoy playing Morgana, there's no reason why you shouldn't be playing Morgana, man. If you enjoy Morgana, play her. If you win with Morgana, play her. It's it's very it's very simple. But it holds so much truth to it. Like people try to play all the OP champions, you know? Oh, I must I'm going to win like every single game with this champion. No. But usually like you want to you want to play the champions that you enjoy like playing uh and I honestly hate playing against Morgana, so she is definitely a good choice. If I hate playing against somebody, then they're really annoying. So Morgana is definitely one of them because I used to, I used to, you know, I I played Wukong a lot, and Morgana is like a really big counter to Wukong in my opinion, because uh, her shield is just so stupid. Like her Q is not even annoying. I don't even care about his, her Q, dude. Her Q is like, yeah, I could handle that, but her shield, I can't, I can't handle that. You know, it just it loses so much opportunity for me to go in. All right, what are some tips for new players getting into juggle? Uh, as a juggler, the main things that you need to know is make sure that all your lanes go even or win. As a jungle main, man, I'm really, really sick. All right, as a jungle main, I think that it's it's really, really important that you make sure that all your lanes win, you know? But if you can't do that, then carry bot lane. You know, you, usually if, you, if your bot lane loses, you kind of, like, it's really hard for you to come back in the game because, you know, bot lane has all the carries and stuff. Uh, because bot lane has all the control on the map, you know. If bot lane loses, then you're probably going to lose the game. Uh, probably, because they have control over dragon. Uh, their main carry is really fed. And a big factor of like, playing jungle is keeping eye, keeping an eye on where the enemy jungler is with wards. Because wards are a giant factor as a jungler. Uh, you want you want to ward that dragon. You want to ward uh, people's lanes. I mean, you don't want to ward for them. You want to ward the river, specifically. Uh for your for yourself as well to know where the enemy jungler is so you could counter gank and stuff like that and always like predict where the enemy jungler is. Uh, I actually have a video uh uh all about um sorry about that guys. <laughs> that was my little brother. He just uh came in there. Uh I actually have a video about how to jungle on my uh in my channel. It's like if you scroll down on my main page, uh there's like a League of Legends guides, it's like somewhere there. Uh okay. Next uh, question, 15, lol, wow, anything, I've been really, uh, I mean, anyway, I've been really digging your channel lately, and I'm pretty happy to see it growing so much, any plans to do something special for 1k, for the 1k miles, uh, milestone, alright, like, first off, I just want to say thank you so much for 900 subscribers, it's, it's kind of crazy, like, when you think about 900 people that have seen your channel and subscribed, that's, it's kind of like, whoa, like, whoa, <laughs> Uh, and I think I'm probably going to do something crazy, uh, not that, like, not that, that crazy, but, I don't know, crazy enough to do, like, a 24-hour stream or something, I don't know if you guys would like that, maybe, maybe, like, I don't know, maybe, like, uh, I don't know if I can handle a 24-hour stream, maybe, maybe I can, but we're just going to have to see, and hopefully I don't die during the 24-hour stream, if I do do it, do do. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the direction Riot is going with League? A lot of the new champions and reorgs seem to be having fancy and complicated mechanics. Do you feel like this is healthy to the game and for anyone learning it? Um, I'm kind of 50-50 on this because although it makes the game harder for a lot of recent, like, or new players, um, to get better at the game, like, like you have to, you have to kind of try harder to get better at the game if the champions have, like, a million abilities and they have to do a ton of stuff to do what they have to do, and it kind of makes it really hard for them to learn. Uh, but, that, yeah, it's kind of bad for new players, but then again, you know, it just all comes with experience. The more you play, the more you'll get better. Uh, the more you improve, the more you get better, of course. Uh, oh, that's, like, <laughs> that's, I just defined improve, get better. Okay. Uh, but it's nice, like, sometimes it's, like, it's kind of nice because it kind of gives that more competitive feel. Like, you have to, you have to be good, uh, to, to actually, like, play the game right, but, I, I want to say, like, it's good for the community. I mean, it's good for, like, oh, look at that play. Oh, my God. He knows he knows everything. Like, that that kind of feel. But not really um, the whole community feel. I feel like I feel like things should be a little bit more simple. Uh, but, you know, nobody really, like, I feel like if, if the entire game was just, like, right-click, 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 I, I feel like there was nothing, like, there's nothing, you know, nothing special about that. You know, having a game with everything in it, like, you have to learn a lot. Uh, to actually be good at the game, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of like the fun part, you know? For your Q&A, what is your workout routine and how did you get so ripped? Um, if you guys didn't know this, I am super ripped and I have a six pack and everything. And I'm like super buff and stuff. You guys should see me in real life. Uh, 
So basically my routine every single day is I wake up 2 a.m. in the morning when the sun is even up and I usually live in the ghetto. Uh, so I got a lot of, you know, gangsters. So I usually run away from them. Uh, I run 20 miles a day away from them. And uh, I also, uh, <laughs> uh, I served in jail for quite a bit. So, um, so I learned how to bench like about 300 pounds every single day. Uh, pretty easy, you know, workout. I don't drink water because water's for little girls. I, I only drink, uh, protein shakes. You know, I put them eggs. I put them, uh, I think they put milk. I, I don't know. Um, actually, I do know because I make them every single morning at 2 a.m. And, um, you know, I just do that every single day and you'll, you'll get really ripped, man. And, uh, no gangster is going to beat you up, uh, like I had to deal with every single morning well i do still have to deal with them but you get my point i'm pretty ripped all right i'm just joking guys i'm not, I'm not actually ripped I'm, I'm kind of like to describe myself i'm not i'm not fat and i'm not skinny i'm in the middle um i'm pretty tall though uh and i'm not i'm not ripped i don't i, I don't have giant biceps uh, at least i don't think i do whoa look at the okay never mind that's just fat okay uh like, like uh to continue uh yeah, I'm not ripped, so, uh, let's just, yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section for it to be a ch- t uh, t uh, You know, we're just gonna leave it for it to have a chance to be on the next Q&A. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I hope you guys have an excellent day. It's Ghost Linear, and I'm out. Peace.